Well, now, welcome back. Uh, they don't give us the Football Republic with um, Bucci and So. I just say, on our face tour, we don't need to rest by this time. We'll enter another issue this morning. I don't talk that issue. Well, well, when we do our newspaper headline review today, and now on top of this, uh, they give him, they say, Labor Union won't enter with federal government. I know say when Labor Union enter any big with federal government, it means that me and you don't enter big with federal government. Meaning to say um, everything will be on. And that time, the serious lockdown, they happen. Nobody this one, we will just they do a rule lockdown. Um, offices no go function. Mm. Many things no go function as they won't enter this um, strike when they won't enter. And the way Labor, they talk, they know, feel say they no go shake on top. I mean, basically, they say they no go shake. Federal government feel also no shake on top of the matter. But to really find out um, the stand of labor for this um, issue and why they feel say this matter and waiting they suppose fight, we get Comrade Murphy Abadoni with us in the public affairs analyst and they tell us what uh, they really happen and why Nigerians suppose them either support them or just they ready for waiting go happen come Monday. Comrade Murphy Abadoni, thank you very much as you join us for the show this morning. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning, viewers. Good morning, oh, comrade. Uh, it's good to say you don't join us on top of this matter because this is a serious matter with the trend now uh, for Nigeria to be so because we know say a lot of things don't they go back and forth. Uh, the labor unions, they talk, say, okay, oh, this matter of uh, electricity tariff will go up, uh, fuel matter will go up. Say so they're not go relent. Say so if this matter no change, they go enter streets, protests go happen. And as uh, only to talk and government self, Talk say ah as it be so now waiting their feet will be this they know if they go back because if they not go if they go back uh, the country go enter uh, um, e economic crisis things go happen but I uh, want hear from your side make we know as this whole matter to be we can't they ask say all these things are uh, just uh, initial gra gra or how this matter take be going well uh, uh, I think yeah, if, if, that, if you see my initial gagra, of course now that you get you get, you get those group of Nigerians too. When to believe in my initial gagra based on precedent, mm -hmm. because uh, in the past he say when issues like this, first of all, first of all, people to start because he say when Nigerians they expect them they're not the issue mm -hmm. at uh, all. So I I, I think. Like categorically, over the time, Nigeria has gone into the losing interest in this NLC thing. One are, one are the days that the moment you hear NLC, you shiver. Every government shivers mm -hmm. at the hearing of NLC. Days of the Adam Socialists and the rest of them. Yeah. No, but today, so many people don't even know who is, uh, who, who is, who is the current leader of the NLC. So, but issues don't come up in the past where NLC not really show that concern when Nigeria has been. And to a large extent, you could see, see not only when issues concern labor directly, when they concern minimum wage and the rest of them, you go hear labor cry out. But thank God, too, so okay, this time I decide to cry out. But hmm. I think if you ask me, I'll tell you, see, it is still time. Still time. After almost a month, almost a month, uh, and the increment took place. What have they been waiting for? Waiting they for the the day for the wait. Mm. Okay. It'd be like saying next one. Uh, don't. Uh, okay. I have to take labor. Okay. All right, Oga. Okay. I hear you clear. Okay, we hear you. All right, all right, cool. Because we, let's like say your audio can't lost more mm. for that conversation. Okay. All right. I hear you. I hear you. Okay. Okay. So again, many issues where I know say labor they raise on top of this uh, matter. Government don't talk say this is not the regulation when we say Nigerians don't they clamor for, don't they shout for, for a very long time now. Um, they say no better time to do them than to just do what we're supposed to do once and for all. We could just face the hardship once and for all before things go balanced according to government. Also, the issue of this electricity matter would already be they hear the issue for a long time. But labor they talk say, look, um, privatizing electricity, um, you know, power sector, not help the issue. Um, Labour also points out, say, government said they don't already collect about 1.5 or 1.3 trillion for that sector to boost them ever since after privatization. So now they are say, waiting, they happen. Why can't be saying you can't see one add increment on top of the electricity tariff? You feel say government go shift on top of this decision we say they don't take. For me, for me. Uh, uh, 
before before the issue of whether government shift or the not to shift, I think one of your facts to say all of us agree that we need to deregulate. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I, even even in 2012, you could you could see say those of us when protests as at 2012, not because we we still believe that we have to deregulate, but because as at that time we felt that the government was supposed to deregulate at that point, so that they don't go on each. Or if it's the suffering of the already suffering masses. You understand? And mm -hmm. the same thing is about to repeat itself. Regulation, regulation is the way to go. But you not go to regulate at the same time, they increase the electricity tariff. At the same time, when you just uh, increase, increase bad. And, and, and at the same time, when we face the challenges of the COVID 19 uh, pandemic. Mm -hmm. So the burden will just take too much on us as a people. So if I were the government, as important as it may appear to deregulate, therefore try to also show Nigerians on the other hand, waiting that they offer to reduce the suffering of the people. Because already we don't get like a natural challenge. Mm -hmm. That imposed on us by the COVID uh, 19 pandemic. That one, nobody fear about. That one is the challenge to the whole world. Now, the electricity, uh, electricity increment, uh, tariff increment, uh, um, the regulation, these ones, these ones can be handled by the constitution, can be at least, if not finished, you, you shift forward, you postpone it. Not at this point that people are faced with so many challenges. That is just. That is just my word. So if government need to the government need to tell us what did they offer to Nigerians to ease the hardship that will come along with it. Just, and if I were labor too, they must have been discussing in that along that line to ask government what do I want to Nigerians to to pop the hardship that will come as a result of this increment. Then labor should also go for that too to ask government. Not that you are deregulating. What are you going to do with the funds that you are going to uh, 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 raise as a result of regulation? Mm -hmm. But regulation simply means that you are, you are no longer going to subsidize special law. Yeah. And now you are, you, before now, you are subsidizing in trillions, billions and trillions. Mm -hmm. So if you are no longer going to uh, 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 subsidize, it means that you are not going to have more money. To in, in your hands. So, mm -hmm. labor can ask government what you intend to do with the response uh, and how you intend to use it to also ensure that the process of utilizing the funds is transparent enough for Nigerians to be. If I were labor, I would fight more along that line. Tell Nigerians what, I, what you want to use the funds when you go raise through the to do for Nigerians. And government should be precise enough to determine exactly what they want to do and how they want to work and how they can to manage and to avoid corruption. That's otherwise the regulation is good. Mm. But, uh, but then, comrade, so. we know that they talk to make yeah. government tell us what they want to use money do. It's they very easy to put yeah. things on paper. Mm -hmm. You know, to tell Nigerians what they want here. Uh, we already know, say, for our country, the major issue now implementation. Now, be the issue for this country and follow through um, for some of the policies or whatever it is where the government won't tell you at the end of the day. You, they mentioned, say, this timing not too good. Say, then just jam everything. COVID-19 can't be the umbrella. Under that umbrella, you talk, say, you won't call increase for, you won't call increase electricity. You don't increase tariff join uh, inside this um, period. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing be, say, if this COVID-19 come out, um, with the talk saying at the new normal, you go live with us for a very long time to come. When Labour they envisage, say, you know, go day all right for government to step in. I mean, when I feel, say, an issue of timing, or you feel, say, it gets certain factors where government must address. It gets certain infrastructure where government must put in place first before you go tell Nigeria and say, oh, yeah, when I go add another extra 15 naira for waiting on our one pay. Now, timing, I mean, an issue of absence of infrastructure will go help us to adapt to this new, um, this is what government won't bring. 
na 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 boots. If 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 you if you listen to me earlier, he goes say I don't raise the two point. I say. Wow. Yes, of that, um... Network uh, situation, did you? Uh, comrade, if I say your network they break, your network they break. We will try call you we back. Try call you back to ensure say we hear what you they talk because yes. we really need that point um, yes, so. clearly. Yes, so. Yeah, because see, why I've been go back to that um, issue. You know, say he been already talk about yeah. clearly money. Maybe say they don't put into that sector. Mm -hmm. uh, in the, um, because one of the major thing we hammer on top now those key factors mm -hmm. uh, to say yes, the regulation, the regulation are the way to it go. Day, yes. But say the heavy hand with government take meet everybody. Come be like saying back to back to back. Uh, we never recover from VAT. The old. VAT will they increase. Now you knock electricity. The electricity join. Now you put four put inside. You know. Then COVID self can't even make. Because people will not even come they work. Yes. Again. COVID so we don't even talk. Say make we just imagine say today they announce okay COVID don't come out. Nobody don't die anymore. Mm -hmm. Top of COVID matter. We are back to business as usual. As usual. Labor go talk say okay your guy now he don't set for us to do what we want to do. Yeah. Or now issue of say infrastructure when we need because we say no in talk and say we don't talk this deregulation before mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and still Nigerians fight the issue. Yes. Because why the thing where we they suffer now and we still suffer, we suffer that, that time, time in yes. all day and that time VAT matter not day yes. electricity tariff not day mm -hmm. fuel increase not day. Mm -hmm. Now make they ask that question say now issue of timing or issue of lack of infrastructure and you don't already talk say now both or got me no vex continue with the point where you they make. Yeah, are you with me? Yes, How yes, yes. You? We can hear you loud and clear. Uh, so, 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 for me, for me, if we need to hear from government, what in government they offer to Nigerians to be able to cope the hardship, the economic difficulties that will come along with this equipment? Mm. You understand? Okay. Look at the COVID nineteen issue, for instance. When government say they bring out palettes for Nigerians. We know how that matter take entry today. Me and you not see the palliative. We only read on papers. Just like she said earlier too, that it's easier to say things on papers and all that. Mm -hmm. We only read on paper and say so, 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 amount, so, 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 so materials were, were released by governments to Nigeria. But in the, in the true picture, we not actually know how the... Because this is they really worry about our connection. Yes, so, okay. Okay. Are, they, are, are you with me? Are they yes, yes. Yeah, um, we, 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 we lose network, you then. We lose your network. Okay. So, I beg, if you continue, will they hear him now? Will they clear him uh -huh. now? So, the most important thing now is for labor to ask federal government to tell Nigeria what thing they won't give us in return. And not be just telling. They want to also demand from government Mm. How government intend to achieve whatever, whatever they are going to propose to, to us, mm -hmm. how they intend to achieve it to ensure transparency and to also show, uh, show say, it will reflect on the pockets and the lives of the ordinary Nigerians on the street. That is just, if it's about the regulation, is the way to go. Okay. Um, whether we like them or not, uh, we're not going to be the buy square uh, very cheap as expected. Because we get a final is when not they will perform. And, and, and I've said this time without millions that you don't you, you don't need magic. As long as can say we get a final is when not they work, and we export our crude only to uh, import back uh, well, then we are in trouble. We are in trouble. There's no two ways about it. Because when you export your crude as just one item, mm -hmm. And you, you, or at the other hand, you begin to import them in as different items. Yeah. You, know, you are already running at a loss. Mm -hmm. You go sell your food as one item, and you go import them in as over three, four, five, six items. You pay the maritime costs and the best of them. You, you bring them back dollars and rest. so. There's no two ways we we'll continue to buy fuel at higher rates until we have refineries that will work here. And when I mean refineries that will work, it's not just about that the refinery. But that is a private investment. The man has got into business to make money. So I don't, I don't, I, I'm, I'm saying this because I don't want Nigerians to celebrate uh, uh, so much about this. Dangote refinery thing. Well, well I think I think Nigerians don't already get their answer on top of that Dangote matter because now news what we also hear last week when they say Dangote go also they sell in own according to international, international price, price because yes. in there for that 
free um, trade zone um, area. So that one been done clear. Best Nigerians already they get the clear picture. Say don't go take refinery, no go reduce you know, any matter. Okay, come and then we go leave this interview for today. Thank you very much for your time. Now, okay, come and more I'm about on it. I want to talk to him, the public affairs analyst. And uh, me follow for body webisode. I shall say on Monday, uh, all man go said say government will not agree mm. on top of this. Your policies when you don't bring suffer too much. You'll try, look for another timetable. Whether government go here, be no here from next week, we go no. Thank you very much, um, Oga Comrade, for your time this morning.